Hello, afternoon all. Uh, welcome to Lunchtime Live. Um, I can see in the chat, I can see Dale, I can see Nick, I can see Baz. Um, I can see uh, Larry, Nick, I think I might have said Nick already. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for jumping on. It's Lunchtime Live with the makers of YouTube. Some of them, anyway. So, you caught my live last night. That's the flamingo. He's now finished. Looks I'm cool. calling him Phil. <laughs> Phil the flamingo. So, put him to one side. All right, today's carving. Uh, I'm going to carve a bowl um, from the log, which I will flick the cam. Thank you, Rich. For being the uh no problem i'll just ramble on to myself <laughs> yeah uh, that's all right don't know where everybody else is but right that's the log we're, we're going to be carving to a bowl um let's try the other camera angle so you get the full <laughs> Okay, so it's clamped to the vice already. Let's come back. It's clamped to the vice already. It's ready to go. I'm going to be using um, my angle grinder and the Arbitec blade and my rasp disc blade. Um, With my glasses. So, yeah, so that's called cool. Hi, Christine and Michael. And hi, Mike. Um, right. What I'll do is I'll flick it onto the big screen. Thanks, Rich. You're welcome, mate. No problem at all. Um, <clears throat> right. I think Dale's busy with work. Right. Should we go top cam first? to see how that gets on i'll try stopping every now and then rich and then jumping in all right okay. yeah 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 okay um i've got my glasses now so i can see the uh the writing on the screen cool man i'm gonna <laughs> uh, mute myself because it'll be a bit okay. long, yeah okie dokie then right so what we got in the chat um so everyone's saying howdy and hi and all that's malarkey um so larry missed the live yesterday but was watching the replay he's just watched the replay thanks larry um dale's dodging in and out work uh christina and michael hestine hello andy rich we are watching on tv cool um, so this is a first for Andy. He's never done this before. He was just telling me earlier that um, <clears throat> he's got his um, oh, what do you call it? It's a it's like a gouge rasp that you put on the grinder, uh, and he's going to hack this to make a bowl. Is hack a good word? No, it's not a good word. He's going to rasp it into a bowl. That's what he's going to do. Uh, Valerie's in. Cos is in. How you doing, guys? Midnight Joker's in. Oh, so Valerie's the little feeties. Okay, I get it now. Sorry, guys, trying to find my glove. I don't uh, destroy my fingers once again. <laughs> I'll always. Uh, 
So Steve can't stay. Steve Coombs, that is, can't stay, but he just wanted to say hi to everybody. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi, Cuz. Hi, Val. I think that was everyone you said. Right. Cool. Game on. Yes, Larry. <clears throat> I did see that. That was quite a while ago, wasn't it? That um, video. Um, Fred Taylor's in. Uh, Maple Tree Studios, do you have a list of the lives for this week? Right, I am going to. Right. If you've got a pen, guys, grab it now because I'm going to go into the. Where is it? I'm going to give you the list. I'm going to read it out to you. Um, okay, so here we go. This is the updated list that Dale sent through. So obviously, me, I'm on Monday, 1 o'clock, Tuesday, 8. Monday, 1 p.m., Tuesday, 8 p.m., Thursday, 8 p.m. but that's the invasion uh, and friday 1 p.m you've got um tuesday the flaming turner sorry i'm done making a right pig's ears so the flaming turner wednesday 1 p.m saturday 1 p.m and 8 p.m okay andy monday 9 15 p.m tuesday 1 p.m uh, so jp woodwork sunday 11 p.m maple tree studios thursday 1 p.m sunday 2 p.m you're going tesco's in a bit Right, sorry, guys. Right, so um, Zach Higgins, Friday, 11 p.m. Uh, Wayne the Wood Turner, Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Um, Dave Gatton, CNC. Uh, Monday, 2 p.m., Tuesday, 2 p.m., Wednesday, 2 p.m., Thursday and Friday, 2 p.m. and Sunday, 1 a.m. <clears throat> I can, yes, I can post it to Instagram if you want. Um, just trying to keep you guys entertained for a minute. Javi's Woodshop, Tuesday, 1 a.m., Thursday, 1 a.m., Saturday, 1 a.m. Stace Makes, Friday, 8 p.m. Average Joe's Joinery over on the radio, uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Makes International Podcast, 9 p.m. Wednesdays. That's the, I think that's the recap of or the edited version of the previous week. Uh, and 9.30 p.m. on Sundays. Uh, Caitlin the Cat, 11.30 p.m. Sundays. SK Crafts, 7 p.m. Saturdays. At Home with the Fishers, 7.30 p.m. Mondays. <clears throat> and you've got Dave G Designs, 7 p.m. Fridays on the radio. Well, it's a radio show, isn't it? So yeah, I'll um, if Dale's happy with this, I think Dale's one put together. Then um, oh, I think he's already done it, hasn't he? Have you already done it, Dale? Right, Flaming Turner says, "I'll be listening as I'm roughing out." Then. Them blanks I cut yesterday. Uh, 
Okay, so Dale says we are building the site, Rich. That's actually going really quick, Andy. I wasn't expecting it to be to to be able to you be able to hog it out that quick with that. <clears throat> I think there is a Facebook page with the wrong cause, but it's not up to date. Obviously, that I think that was done before the coronavirus lockdowns and all that sort of thing. So I'm going to be making something totally different I've never made before on the lathe tonight, guys. But I'm not saying anything else. You'll have to come and watch. Blimey. That goes quickly, doesn't it? That stuff is... Uh, um, would it help if I bring this a touch closer? No, I think that's all right there. I think that's all right. I don't know if you can see the dash of it, really, on that Yeah, one. we can. We can, yeah. It's When you're standing behind it, it isn't as bleached out because the... So that's that's great. Well, yeah, yeah. We it's getting that. there. It's getting there. There's... Is it very dry, Andy? No, this is wet, proper wet. Is it? Oh, yeah, right. it's um, but the rasp's making very quick work of it. Let me just show you the blade of the rasp, though. Oh yeah. So the way I get around this wire brush, make sure you've got your goggles on, put your face mask on, obviously. You can't keep your face in the way. <laughs> Would it be would it be better to screw that down, Andy? Screw the wire brush down to your bench. Oh yeah. Because you wouldn't is, even have to stop them, would it you? Would just... be if uh, this wasn't in there. Oh, okay. I will get my other vice clamp. Clamp. You can't screw it down to the uh, the wood where your gloves are, maybe. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Good shot, Batman. I'm just thinking you can, without doing anything, you just literally just touch it on and carry on then, can't you? Mm-hmm. I like that idea. Consider that done. Maybe not quite now. But, um, yeah, that's a good shout, Batman. So, yeah, it's going, it's going all right, actually. Yeah, it is. And I thought it was. Um, what I'm going to have to do is rotate it that way. Because it's easier for me to carve here than mm. it is here. Carving away yeah. from myself rather than carving towards myself. Yeah, you can see a difference actually in how smooth it is away from you compared to how, how, how it is closer to you. So if I gradually, I'll gradually move it around. It's on a square. Mm. So it will just, I'll do it round in quarters and it will slowly start getting there once i've got it round to sort of this sort of smoothness then i can go back in with the arbitec blade do more cuts 
make it a little bit deeper and then do the same process again yeah <clears throat> need to make sure it's popping the lamp down so they don't go nowhere right i'll just wh whack myself back on mute again unless you wanted to cool. say to it. sorry mate no no carry on mate i'm all right or is there any questions oh, i've only been going 15 minutes shouldn't be yeah. by now so uh larry that's all right mate right larry said rich i am going to miss most of your live tonight i have a long drive for a doctor's appointment and uh to pick someone up from the airport but i'll probably be able to pop it in and say hi that's okay larry it's fine so real simple things i'm back again had to check on the girls Stace, hi everyone. I'm watching but destroying the kitchen, looking for parts to the girls' curtain poles. Nick says hi to. Hi, Stace. Hi, Nick. <clears throat> so, I don't know if anyone, has anyone in the chat ever done this before? That might have some tips for Andy or. I love the way that just rips that apart. It's brilliant. Look at the look at the uh, the year um, rings, the growth rings. I can see from here. Yeah, it's definitely growth rings. David, good afternoon to you. Uh, Midnight Joker, yes, Rich, he's doing fine. Only tip is don't get tight and close over the left of the angle grinder. When they kick back, they are super aggressive. Andy can hear, hear me, I think. Larry, not me, carving is not my thing, but I wish I had just a little of Andy's talent. He's a very talented uh, bloke. I hope you blow yourself off before going in that house, Andy. I think your missus would kill you. I was waiting for that day, actually. <laughs> oh, thanks, Larry. Larry says, you all are. I enjoy all your channels. 
I've learned a lot from you guys. I think that's the thing with YouTube, isn't it? It's, you know, you can learn such a lot off, you know, off YouTube. I know people say, oh, you've learned that off YouTube, but you can. Um, YouTube answers a lot of questions for a lot of people where they want to start making something. Um, and it, it inspires people as well. <clears throat> Although, if you are a YouTuber yourself and you make videos, then you'll understand how much goes into inspiring people. <laughs> the hours. <laughs> oh, here comes the uh, the big boys. I think what Andy's doing now is just trying to remove a lot of material to, to create the dish. David, I was waiting for you to say it as well, Bar. <laughs> Larry, I am also enjoying all these lives you guys have been doing. Well, we're doing it to because there's a lot of people stuck in their in their houses, or you know, and yeah, it's it's a lot of work, but it's worth it, I think, because. We're keeping people entertained and talking and there is a lot of people out there that are quite, uh, quite lonely at the moment, I think. Oh, God. No, that's not the chainsaw, Larry. Um, Andy's put the chainsaw blade to death. He's condemned it. I think he's buried it about six feet down in his garden. Uh, yeah, hit the thumbs, guys. Hit that thumb up for Andy. We've, uh, we've got 17 watching and only nine thumbs up. Real simple thing gets me through my work day. Well, thanks very much. <clears throat> if people are watching, we'll carry on doing it, won't we, guys? I've got to go out to uh, get some shopping. I'm dreading it. I didn't get up till 12. I, I went back to bed with a real horrible headache. I next some... Uh, some painkillers, and uh, before I knew it, it was 12 o'clock. I wonder how many people are actually bothering to get dressed in the day if they're stuck at home. I've seen a lot of pictures of people just vegging out on the floor in front of the telly and doing um, binging TV programs and stuff. I mean, Cheryl says to me yesterday, actually, do you, do you fancy having a Lord of the Rings day or a Hobbit day or a Harry Potter day where we just watch the whole, the whole lot in one day? I mean, you could do a Star Wars day. That would be a cool thing to do. I don't think there's enough hours in one day, though, is there? You'd have to do, like, two days or start early in the morning and finish, like, early morning the next day <laughs> um thanks fred i'll take it you hit that thumb thanks mate um yeah barry always hits the thumb as he comes in uh blue light turner good luck rich stopped at the shop on the way back from being tested was crazy I know, I mean, I can see why they're making the queues. I understand they're making the queues to keep people, they keep a certain amount, they don't keep, but they, they only allow a certain amount in the shop uh, at one time. 
and then one one comes out one goes in so you know the queue is to keep people two meters apart although yesterday was it yesterday day before no i didn't go anywhere yesterday the day before i went into tesco's and a woman literally reached over my shoulder i had my mask on she didn't um she reached over my shoulder because i was obviously taking too long picking my mushrooms I gave her a look of disgust and she just didn't care. Um, Game of Thrones week, that would be cool. Would you be able to watch them all in one week though? But that would be really cool. So first six movies can be done in one day. Uh, which six? Because? So, Larry, uh, there's not enough people staying home. Well, that's the problem we've got, isn't it? There's a lot of people that are not taking this serious enough. They seem to think, oh, I'm young, I'm fit, I'm healthy, it's not going to affect me. But they are wrong. I mean, yeah, it might. If it doesn't affect them, it might f affect their granny or their mum or dad or, or uh, their neighbours granny you know what i mean that, that's what people are so narrow-minded they can't see that you know yeah it might not affect them as it will affect someone that's older or someone that's very young first six star wars movies original trilogy and the, oh yeah okay yeah that'll be good That is looking really nice, Andy. I think you should edit this one. If you can hear me. Definitely edit this one down and post it as a video. Stace, I haven't seen my granddad since the 9th. It's killing me, but he has coped. Uh, not taking a risk. I won't even go near my mum because she is his carer. Well, well done, Stace. Shame. Um, everyone doesn't understand. See, Marvel movies from start to end game. I've never been a Marvel fan, to be honest. I know that's probably sacrilege to some of you guys, but no, I've never been a Marvel fan. The, yeah, just, it just, you know, some things that just don't, you just don't um, get, you don't enjoy. <laughs> Fred, Fred says too many lives to watch on TV. <laughs> uh, so, Larry, I think it's going to be kind of treated like the AIDS virus. Um, serious at first, but still dealing with it 30 years later, possibly, yeah. So Midnight Joker at the moment rewatching old Marine Boy series. <laughs> I'm I'm rewatching um, Monarch of the Glen. <laughs> you right, Andy? <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I was just having a butcher's. Yeah. Standing back and uh, seeing where to go to next. Can you hear me talking, Andy? When I'm yeah, um, no, oh, okay. no, I oh, can't. Okay. okay, 
Yeah, uh, who was it? I think it was Larry. It may have been Larry. I do apologise if I got the wrong person, but was it Larry or was it Midnight? Anyway, someone says um, there is a kickback if you go. Um, let me find it. Let me find it. If you're working away from you, it's okay. But if you're working to you, there's a kickback. <clears throat> Yes, it depends which way you hold it. Oh, that would be Mike, most likely. Possibly, yeah, possibly. It's way off in the uh, the chat up there somewhere. Um, yeah, there is, isn't there? It's it's one of those weird ones. You think you think it's instinctive. Mm. You kind of you don't mean to do it, but you kind of do it, and then all of a sudden, um, how what, deep what is it? Hard to tell. Right, okay. So I would say probably about four inches, maybe five inches deep. I haven't got my depth gauge. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. What wood is it, Andy? Uh, it is Cedar Lebanon. Ah, okay. Because you can, you can see the growth rings uh, on the right-hand side of it. Yeah. But Yeah. It's four inches deep. Oh. Or in new money, 100 mil. So that's not bad for half hour carving, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Is it easy? I mean, I know it's wet, but is it easy? Is it coming off easily? It seems to be coming off relatively easy. <laughs> yeah. Um, certain bits come off easier than others. When you get to like the knotty at this bit, was a bit of an is a bit stiff and a bit mm. stiffy in places. Um, there's a couple of knots. You can tell when you hit a knot, it kind of got it's almost like a catch. Like when you turn and you get like a um, yeah. but it's it's going fast enough that it burns through it quick enough. So it's literally like a a twitch in your when you're holding it. Mm. Sorry, just to get into some uh, much needed juice. Yeah. I'm actually getting to the point where I'm almost happy. I'm going to round it, like spoon it out, if you like. Um, rather than going too much deeper, kind of like that sort of height. So when I cut it in. I've still got a base, a decent base underneath, so it'd be more like a fruity bowl, I guess. Something like oh, that. okay. So you're gonna have a, like a, a a foot on it. Mm. Okay. Because let's be honest, this thing will hack it out nice and easy. Yeah. Whip that round, do a ring round. Mm. Um, so I've got a sort of cut off point where the bottom of the bowl is going to be. Grind that down. Uh, around the side. Let me flip to the other camera. You'll be able to see what I'm on about then. Uh, so so Dale, Dale's heading back to work. Pop in when I can. Thanks, Dale. Cool. Thanks, Dale. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll do a line all the way around with the Arbitec, mm -hmm. top and bottom. The central bit, I'll hack at, get rid of that bit. That a bit I'll curve round the shape of the inside of the bowl, hopefully, not cutting through. Um, go all the way round. Do the same for the foot, but I'm, I wanted to... Well, I'm, I can't. I'm not going to be able to keep a lot of the base, like the bark on there. I think that's just going to come flying off anyway as part of the process. But we'll see. I'll see. If I could keep some of the bark on, maybe the rim, I will. If mm. not, I'll just smash the whole thing off. See where it goes. Yeah. So, if I leave it on that cam? Yeah, I reckon. 
Um, just zip off that. Right. I'll have another swig and then I'll get cracking again. Right, so what we all up to today then, guys, what projects have we got in the making community going on? Oh. What are you over there for, Kip? What are you curled up in the corner for, mate? Come here, then. Come here. Lie down there, look. There we go. <laughs> so, Valerie making a birthday card for a friend. Fred Taylor watching alive by some guy with a beard. <laughs> Stop making wires for the road barriers today. Oh, okay. Joy, they all have beards. <laughs> uh. Back in a sec, guys. It would help if I turn the mic back on, wouldn't it, guys? So, Midnight Joker, finishing up thick and synth jig for larger boards with an electric hand planer. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, David got a delivery of wood yesterday, hoping to get back on the lathe this week. Sorting out shed, got dust extraction system to set up. Cool. Larry, nothing at the moment for me, but was asked yesterday about building a cedar hope chest. And my son is wanting a wooden box for his game cards. Hmm. So, Joy, he has a an Arbitec, um blade on that. Um, the Arbitec is the one he's got. He's got like three tungsten carbide um, tips on it. That just hogs away the the uh, the wood like mad, and the other one, the one is just about. To, is he? The other one, he's got a rasp um, disc on that. Uh, so midnight Joker learned to coil cables properly. So added a Velcro cable tidy. 
to every electric tool in the workshop a pain because you have to rewire them all oh god <laughs> Ah, and he's getting his face mask on. So Andy from Real Simple Things. Andy, have you seen the ball gouge that Matt the Badger Workshop uses? Yeah, he, 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 I think he was saying something about it last night or yesterday. <clears throat> um, they're quite expensive, aren't they? They're about 80 quid. Uh, David, yeah, Cheryl's been, she's been all right. She's a bit worried about our daughter because she's got a uh, she's got damaged lungs through black damp. Uh, she's got asthma as well, so. But yeah, she's still being a pain in the backside. Um, <laughs> Joy. Had to buy different tobacco, and now every time I smoke, I'm coughing. Neighbors are giving me the stink eye. <laughs> <laughs> Look how quick that's coming out. That's just ripping that to bits, isn't it, Andy? That's really good. Definitely going to get me one of those. So, because he's running out of vape juice and coils for my device, which is causing a cough. Can you not get any uh, delivered to you online? Because, shall we don't? Oh, you can't. Yeah. We've got like 10 kilos of that stuff, 10 litres of that stuff here. On the plus side, I haven't touched a proper cigarette since last Tuesday. Oh, well done. Excellent. Shannon? Yeah. Yeah, Shannon's all right, she's just out of the Yeah, I've stopped vaping now. I, I, uh, I started vaping to give up smoking about ooh, five years ago um, and then I vaped for a couple of years and uh, now I don't vape or smoke no it hasn't been that long since I stopped vaping I've been, uh, I think it's probably been a year since I haven't vaped something like that I don't know I just uh, lose track of time So real simple things is ordering one soon. Oh yeah, a uh, one of those discs, I imagine. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> so joy i wish people would stay away from me yesterday at the store some guy got too close to me got so close to me i wished i had gas just to get me back off <laughs> uh fred i had a motorcycle accident six years ago spent five days in hospital without a cigarette and i've not smoked since great i mean there has been times where i could easily easily go up and just grab one of cheryl's roll-ups but luckily i've um i've resisted So David says, "High Finger Club member Stace." <laughs> right, that is super, super wet. Yeah, it looks it. Yeah, it didn't look it on top. I'm just waiting for the big flame. If I get big flame, I'll stop. <laughs> Real simple things that stop smoking. Sorry? It's just water, that's all right. Uh, look like it's going to rain out there, Andy. Um, Obviously the sun now. It doesn't look too bad, but I wouldn't say that it's uh, not going to rain. Yeah. Are you thinking about going out? No, no, I was just, I was just looking because it, it got quite um, overcast on your, your camera. Then it's not as sunny as the other day. Yeah. Yeah, this is just gonna go gum up. Right. Okay. Fair enough. What I'll have to do is get that equal all the way round and then leave it for a, a night yeah um, I might have a little bit of a bonfire later and leave it by the fire and see if I can dry out some more mm. so that's just literally I can feel the water coming off it mm. um, that's a pan it's just making a mess of the rust is it clogging yeah. it up yeah mm -hmm. um but that's fine we do, we're not doing too bad at the end of the day it was only gonna ever be about an hour or so wasn't it yeah. the lunchtime live. well that's the way i'm looking at these lunchtime lives you know i'm, I'm just going to do it for an hour or so maybe less maybe a little bit more but it's just to just to entertain people while they're on their lunch i suppose or you know yeah, let's see if you can perhaps see a better uh, image from above. Oh, no, same camera, didn't they? You see this? Yeah. If that was super, super dry, that would make a nice little, uh, like, water fountain in someone's garden. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like you could have a couple of birds, like you could see a couple of birds dip, dip in there, <laughs> thing in there. Even a small hand sink, I suppose. Oh, yeah. That's quite cool. Um, so the plan, ultimately, is to be get these it, this in quite some way. So I want it to at least be able to get, not quite get my hand around it, but almost... Yeah um so yeah quite a bit out of this um and then obviously once i've got where i've got to go i'm going to start gently taking off the sides to get this uh to like not super thin but certainly less than what three and two inches thick mm. uh, so i want to get it down to at least about uh, an inch thick give it a chance to to move and then uh yeah we'll see where that goes cool valerie says looking awesome andy thank you Val. Uh, midnight joker 
Is that cedar very durable for outdoors like Western red cedar? I don't think it's as not close as. a grain, is it? No, it's not as. No. But it will certainly last for 10 years, probably, outside. Mm. You'd notice cracks after a couple of years, I'd imagine. Um, but it should be all right. It's a relatively solid wood, from mm. if memory serves. And I've got quite a lot of it at the moment, so um, take advantage of it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. Right, in that case, I'm going to knock it on the head there. Because I don't think it would be particularly sensible of me to uh, keep poking away at that. Mm. Um, and also, I think it's a good time to stop there, because I'm gasping for another brew. <laughs> it's very dry and very dusty. Yeah, yeah. You can see it all over the place. <laughs> I wonder yeah. if it's all over next door's windows. <laughs> I hope not. Don't. <laughs> Don't say that. I hope not. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's not. No. Whoops. <laughs> um, just spray the uh, the hose pipe over and just like it might be raining at the back of the house, but not at the front. Yeah, I I should probably put a screen up actually. Think about it. But anyway, sorry for another day. Um. So, uh, is it all right to bring you back, Rich? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me bang on face cam. And there one, sweetie, sweet sweet. Cool. Well, thanks ever so much, guys, for watching me make a start on the bowl at least, um, or whatever it's going to be. Uh, thanks to Rich for support, Ralph. See, no support support staff are important. We need to thank our support staff. Oh, does that mean I'm like frontline now? Can I get to the front of the queues and stuff? Oh, you can't get front of the queues even if uh, you are frontline staff. Uh, uh, you have uh. to queue like everybody else. <laughs> get paid less than everybody else as well. But anyway, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, right, love and leave you guys. <clears throat> Thanks ever so much for jumping in. Stay safe and stay well and stay indoors. And we'll um, see you tonight. Yeah, see you tonight, Rich. <clears throat> Check him out. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit, guys. Take care. Bless you all. Bye. Bye. Bye.